Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share what I eat in a day video with you, starting with breakfast. I am frying up some eggs and while I do so, I'm going to have a little chat with you. So first of all, thanks so much for yesterday's comments on my video all about my experience of getting kicked out of ketosis. Um, thanks for your lovely comments and your likes. It's just really wonderful to have your support. Oh funny cracking eggs on camera and getting the right angle um, so today I am getting straight back into it and um, eating foods to help me get back into ketosis and I am sharing this video and this day with you Ooh, what is happening with that I'm sharing this day with you to help those of you who may be, have maybe or may have been or may in the future be in a similar situation when you get kicked out of ketosis accidentally or on purpose with all these holidays coming up. So um, this video is for you. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community. Love to have you part of the family. I share keto, low carb, meal ideas, inspiration, all kinds of things. And so today I am sharing what I eat in a day, low carb, keto friendly, trying not to break my eggs. Um, these five eggs aren't all for me. I'm making breakfast for myself and my husband. I'm having two eggs, he wants three, he has just done a massive workout and wants three eggs, so who am I to argue? <laughs> um, so let's make some eggs and I'll show you my finished breakfast plate once it is all done, my wonderful keto getting back into ketosis breakfast. So there you go, that's my completed breakfast. I've got my two runny, super runny eggs, I've got sour cream, and I made a little side of sauteed spinach. I like to have veggies with every meal while I'm on keto. Even when I'm really super strict, just a smidge to keep up on fiber and to have a broad range of nutrients. You'll see from my day, I'll make sure that I include veggies at every meal. So we've got sauteed spinach, I briefly sauteed it in a little bit of olive oil and some, with some salt after I cooked my eggs and I've got my sour cream which is melding in there. So we've got plenty of healthy fats. And I'm gonna get on and have breakfast and I will keep, uh, keep in touch with you through the day. I am feeling a little snacky, so I thought I would just have a little portion of macadamia nuts. This will kind of see me through until lunch. It's been a bit of a crazy, hectic morning. Not quite ready for lunch, so I, I am going to have a couple of handfuls of macadamia. These are my favorite nut, and they also happen to be awesome source of fiber, fat, protein. So I'm going to get on and have my macadamias, and then I'll see you when I have my next meal. And it's time for lunch. I've got some butter melting and I'm adding, this is about a quarter of a head of cauliflower that I have finely chopped. This is going to be the bulk of my lunch. A quarter of a lovely cauliflower. And I'm kind of going to just, it's going to be one of those fun intuitive meals. I'm just going to add what I feel as I feel like. And I feel like a bit of turmeric. I want a bit of turmeric nourishment let me get it out covered oh did i just knock the camera probably did sorry about that oh, there we go yeah you're still there <laughs> okay <laughs> let's just do a couple of shakes of turmeric i feel this will be good and anti-inflammatory and let's face it turmeric tastes amazing 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 with cauliflower i know i've done something similar heaps before but you know that's the meal that i always turn to and i know that it's good low carb high fat um, the cauliflower is pretty much my carb of the meal um, and then I'm going to keep adding butter until I've got this lovely and golden and I'm going to add a few more ingredients to make this cheesy, of course it has to be cheesy have to have a cheesy cauliflower dish, why not? so I'll show you as it's nice and golden and when we add some more ingredients to it it's getting softened and golden and I'm ready to add the rest of my ingredients I'm adding a huge tablespoon of cream cheese you could add mascarpone instead and I'm going to pour over a whole lot of cream super super creamy and we'll let that come together a bit and the cream cheese melt and then I'm just going to add some cheese. Um, I could add normal cheese or parmesan. I might be greedy and add a little smidge or a generous smidge of both. So this is kind of like another version of cauliflower mac and cheese. 
I'm just sprinkling over some parmesan and I'm going to add in some cheese. Oh, I've got a big bag of grated cheese, yeah? Oh, <laughs> plenty of good fats in here. I mean, look at that. That's kind of, kind of like one pan mac and cheese for one. And that is it. That is my lunch. So I'm going to have lunch and I will catch up with you again if I have anything through the afternoon. Um, but I'm guessing this is going to fill me up. So I will probably see you again at dinner time. And here is my dinner plate. Um, I had roast chicken for dinner last night. Um, and if you follow my channel for a while, you know that I roast a whole chicken and heaps of legs. So you've got lots of lovely legs leftovers. So these are leftover chicken legs. It's a nice cool dinner tonight. We're in the middle of summer in Australia and I, I just like having cool dinners. So I make sure when it's cooler evenings, I roast or I get in the kitchen and get hot. And then I've got some meals for the next few days that I can have nice and cool like this roast chicken. So you can see that lovely crispy chicken skin, which is nice and high fat, perfect for keto diet. I've got just two tomatoes there. Yep. Tomatoes are a little bit higher in carbs than the rest of their vegetable friends. Well, they're actually a fruit, aren't they? Um, and so I've got two cherry tomatoes. It satisf satisfies my tomato craving and I actually find them super sweet. Um, so I like to have them as part of my meal and I've got heaps of beautiful healthy fats. I've got a bit, the better part of an avocado there and a big dollop of sour cream. And what I usually do is I have the meal with the sour cream and then I just keep topping up. So that is not going to be all of the sour cream as I'm eating I go through heaps more as I feel like it and that's um, what I do with the sour cream and that is my meal and that is what I eat what I eat to get back into ketosis thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video I really appreciate a thumbs up leave a like and leave a comment I always appreciate your comments on my videos it means a lot to me um, let me know your favorite really strict keto meal when you need to get back into it what is your super strict meals that you turn to these today have been mine um, make sure you subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community. Love to have you a part of the family and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.